tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello folks, this is an, an amazing animation. No, it isn't. It's very simple. You see a little bit of reflection of this object on the ground because uh, the ground is slightly reflective and uh, it's nothing really interesting. But why is that object so nervous? So let's stop it here. Here is the same animation in the front view. You see the green curve, which is flat at the beginning of the animation. You see little white dots around that curve. That's the indication that we have to do deal with particles here. And you see our irritated <laughs> object. One thing which is pretty obvious is that the deformation of the curve on the right side is much more intense than on the left side. It's quite peaceful there where the object is now. Uh, on the right side it's uh, it's quite quite nervous and what is the reason for it? Let me stop it here. The reason is that the turbulence field which does all the confusion here is sitting here in the center of the scene and that's by default the part where the influence is more drastic than in other parts. The influence is still here but uh, it diminishes over over space. So when we move the that's the turbulence field when we move it to the left we have a different deformation. Let me select the curve again so we can see it better. It's still quite nervous on the right hand side, our object, because the density of the curve points there, and in this case the particles, is stronger. Now I'll show you the camera view. I animated the camera and it's really nothing special. This is the version with the turbulence field adjusted, so our object is not always in focus. Maybe it is, I don't know. Five hundred frames, then it starts from frame number one. So I'll show you how you set up this thing. You need two things. One is the motion path, and the other thing is make a soft body out of that curve. So a new scene. We need two things now. We need an object and well, polygon modeling, how about this object here? And we need a curve. Let's go to curves and surfaces here. And this is the pen tool, so we can hand draw our curve in the scene. It lands on the ground plane and uh, we can modify it later. This, this is obvious. And let's just draw a curve like this. I think the speed matters, but I don't know. It's not important here. It's totally flat and now I want to deform that curve. Um, I pick it and I go to FX, Special Effects and I need to know that the soft body for deformation, I need it to be soft, involves particles. That's why I go to N particles. And down here I find soft body. That's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this command here. And you need to use the option box, I think. In the option box you have settings which are different from these. The default settings are like this. Make soft. Create. Make this thing soft. We want a little bit more. We want to duplicate that curve which we see in the scene and make the copy soft. And we want to hide the non-soft object. That's this object. And this object should be the goal for the soft body. That means the soft body wants to more or less go back to the original shape of this curve. 
no matter what kind of force field we apply. The weight of, the, of that goal, that means how strong it wants to go back to the original sh uh, shape, is half, 0 0.5. If we set it to 1, it always sticks to the original. It would be rather boring. So we apply this. And now we see the little dots here, which are the particles. Currently, nothing happens because we have no force field and uh, we can introduce a field now fields and solvers and we for example the turbulence field it comes with a magnitude of 5 which is usually for such a big scale here much too little and when we run the animation nothing really is visible although it's already working let's go to a drastic value like 1000 I don't know what's happening here but usually the magnitude means a lot of input that's quite fine so step one is fine now step two is this I want an animation where this object is attached to the uh, wobbling curve within say 400 frames so let us extend the frame range to 400 now I have frame 0 to frame 400 that's the range of our animation we could attach it to this curve here which is the original curve which we currently don't see in the scene anymore because it's hidden that's the flat curve we want to attach it to the copy which is our soft body looks like a box now because it's, because it developed some kind of height here. Now this selected and the platonic object selected with the control key. With these two selected we need to find the motion path. Where is it? Well if you don't find it here in the 1000 <laughs> menu entries of Maya go to help, find menu and then type in motion path press enter and now what you see here edit delete by type no delete all by type no animation constrain motion paths that's interesting we need to go to the animation menu set currently we are at uh, the FX special effects menu set so we go to animation here secondly we go to constrain do we have a constrain menu yes we do right here and under constraint we have motion path and attach to motion path thank you we found it alright constraint motion path attach to motion path you see the number 400 there that's the reason why I extended the frame range to 400 makes things much easier than uh, changing this later on uh, so it takes 400 frames for the platonic object to move from the very beginning to the very end and now let's see if it follows the nervous motion of our curve it sure does it goes up and down that means it's not following the original curve but it's actually following the other curve the soft body let's uh, lower the attenuation it's uh, the default settings are one what happens here let's lower it to zero now you see that the turbulence field is all around the whole scene with the same influence at any point so we have a, a very strong influence here when we set this to 10 the effect of the turbulence field is very very local can barely see it actually I cannot see it let's go to 10,000 for the strength for the amplitude I still don't see it it's so marginal let's reduce the attenuation to 3 now we see that local influence I was talking about how about an attenuation of 0 0.5 oh because we have 10,000 here rather we rather have 1000 I guess okay much better of course you can animate the position of the turbulence field but 
this is what I wanted to show you. And I really enjoy that wobbling curve. I don't need that object here. I often get the question, what is this good for? Well, I don't know. Can you render the curve? That's the last aspect here. Yes, you can. You select the curve and you go to Arnold and here you can render the curve. It comes with a current width of 0 0.01 which is very thin but which is quite elegant in most cases and uh, you can uh, have a different shader you can make it red for example and you need a light of course in order to see it let's create a sky dome light and render it and this is the curve we get quite lovely imagine a rendered animation of 400 frames with this motion Bye-bye.